Well, apparently everybody... Apparently everybody's happy to see me today. There is no shortage of barn cats, is there? What do you think, Pretzel? One of the funner things that we've done this year is uh, we decided to kind of create our own meat bird flock for harvest for next year. And so we ended up buying these. They're uh, big red broilers. They're from uh, Murray McMurray Hatch. And uh, what we're going to do with them is we're going to let them grow during the winter and uh, start producing eggs that will incubate in uh, the early spring. And, and then uh, we'll take those, yeah. be our meat bird flock that will... Uh, will harvest. Um, they should be ready to go in about 12 weeks, so it's pretty quick, three months. It's amazing how fast they grow. It seems like these guys were just little baby chicks not too long ago, and now uh, now they're getting full feathered and feisty. So, good morning, Daisy. Why don't you get yourself some breakfast? Oh, it looks like you need a little water, don't you? All right, we'll fix that. One of the things that we learned uh, pretty early on was the water situation. Uh, the first year that we had chickens, we had the water inside the barn, and that proved to be a complete nightmare. There was so much moisture in there, most of the chickens ended up with uh, frostbite on their combs, and and uh, that was a terrible situation. So we figured out that having it outside, we didn't have to worry about that interior uh, moisture. The other nice thing is, is that in the wintertime, once the ground is covered in snow, it is almost impossible to get the uh, chickens to come out in the snow. They really hate it. So this kind of coaxes them out and then get a little bit of sun, which is nice, so. Deuce. How's that supposed to work? We kept having the ducks lay, uh, lay their eggs in a spot in the barn we couldn't get to, so decided to make a little access door for it. The way we can get in there. Let's see if they got any eggs in here this morning. Nope, doesn't look like it. At least not yet. We got cats in here though. Sadie, Sadie. Sadie, Sadie, Sadie. How's it going? Good morning. So Lucky is still hanging out with just the chickens. Every once in a while our white pecan will come up and uh, visit them. But otherwise he's a chicken duck as of now. I think next summer we're going to have to get him some, uh, some more pecans and see how that works. For most of our ducks and chickens they actually uh, live together in the coop. And that seems to have worked out pretty good so far. So not too many incidences that have happened. Once in a while the rooster will get a little riled up. but. They're pretty good overall. We are emptying the hay wagon today. We are getting the pumpkins moved over to Chaos Garden and we're gonna slice them open and um, see what grows from that next year. So let's get started, guys. Mm -hmm. So smashing pumpkins will be pretty fun. Well, now that we get the hay wagon out of the way, Take the tractor and go move it. Special treats for you guys. I forgot to get water though. Are they being nice to you? Yep, better have some. Oh, don't hang. Well, we're up to four cats. So, um, one morning I went outside and I heard a meow and I thought, oh, one of the cats um, must not have gotten put away, which is weird because we always check. Anyways, I go out and I go in the garage and there she is sitting there meowing and then she tried to run into the house so I uh, called all of our neighbors to see if they were hers and they were not so then we decided to keep her and so far she's a good addition she's a sweet cat really nice and friendly I did bring her to the vet no one had her microchipped good morning guys oh someone's hungry Get some 
fresh bedding down for this winter. back here because it's quite dirty from the duck's mess. Give them some fresh bedding and get, keep them warm this winter. I'm going to lay all the um, bedding down, spread it out back here, make it nice and fresh for the animals. Then we're going to use it for the compost once they've uh, spread their manure all over. Nice and fresh and warm in here for them this winter. Now that it's starting to get colder. So at some point, I would really like to make our own pine chips in here and save us the expense of going to the store. So if anyone's got great ideas on how to do pine shavings yourself, please comment and let us know because I would really like to uh, do that at home. Even if it's not pine shavings, if it's just some sort of wood shavings, any great ideas would be more than welcome. So this is our little coop. So when we get new animals, we put them in here. Um, generally chickens or ducks when they're really small because we got the heat lamp on them and we can get it lower. And it's a smaller space when they're just a couple days old to a couple weeks old. So they don't spread out too much and they can keep their body temperatures regular um, when they're all huddled up close together. So this is nice. I also like this one too because then they can see the bigger chickens and they can incorporate a little bit easier. Because one thing you don't want to do with animals is um, just throw them in together without actually getting them to know each other, as weird as that sounds. They will hurt each other if you don't give them adequate time to um, get to know each other from a safe distance. So this provides that and a nice space for them to grow up in. Um, and then also it's got that door that we just flap open when they get old enough, like when they have feathers. So then they can run it in and out and get used to um, free ranging and putting themselves in at night and going out during the day and also getting that UV sunlight, which is really good for egg production. So I'm just going to brush through this because we did for a while have Biscuit, the new cat, in here so then she could get socialized with the other cats at a safe, safe distance so they could see each other, smell each other, but not be in the same room with each other because we don't want any injured animals, obviously. So if you're ever thinking of getting new animals, I suggest um, you learn how to properly introduce them so there isn't injuries, like I said. And we've never had any problems doing it this way and we have gotten a lot of even older chickens and ducks from other people and incorporating them. Usually we leave them a safe distance apart where they can see and smell each other for about two weeks and then, a, that, then that's a pretty good adequate time for them to get to know each other. Sit Sadie, sit. Good dog. <laughs>